you know what, if this thing's going to change, if we're going to make any difference to how Washington functions, it starts with your vote. It starts with who you choose. And it seems to me that if we're going to send somebody out there who's focused on solutions, who's committed to being reasonable about it and passionate about being reasonable, instead of passionate about being extreme, this is the time. That's the kind of United States Senator I want to be. If I have to go to Washington and join a caucus and just do what the boss says and be average, thanks, we're going home tonight. I'm not interested in the job. I have never, that I know of, for one moment in my life, ever sought to be average. I've always wanted to either get better than that or drop off and fail. It doesn't appeal to me to be average. Even when I was in the Army and you got the crappiest assignments if you didn't shut up and be average, I couldn't be just unnoticed and average. So I ran a lot of laps and did a lot of push-ups, let me tell you. But uh, I didn't want to be average, and I don't want to be an average United States Senator. And it's time for Nebraska to stop being an average state. We have an opportunity here. Let's take advantage of it. I'm running because I see that opportunity, because everybody says it's going to be tougher than the Dickens in this off-elect, off-presidential election year with a lame duck, unpopular president. Of course that makes it harder. But I have this to say about off-season elections and lame duck unpopular presidents. It seems to me that the opportunity doesn't come packaged in the president. It comes packaged in the problem. And the problem is that we don't feel as safe and secure as we did, and we can see a solution, which is send a different kind of person to the United States Senate. Send something different. Make a difference, and then let's see if we can't move things with that difference.